Okay, we are getting some storms tonight, but take a look at this. This is the storm chaser still near Caledonia on I-94. Now, I don't know. We'll get Jesse here in a second. That looks like what was described earlier to us as a shelf cloud. We're getting much cooler weather as well. Jesse is here to tell us what to, was I right about the shelf cloud thing or was I just echoing what Shannon said? No, that's a shelf cloud, the okay. backside of one. Usually a shelf cloud, if it's coming towards you, you're going to get some really intense uh, rain and then you get that intense wind behind it. But this is a storm chaser chasing those storms out over Lake Michigan as they head off to the east. Still a few spots where we are dealing with a thunderstorm or two, but the worst of it for many of us has come and gone very quickly over the last two hours and some of us have had some hail that has accumulated in some locations. Not a whole lot of impressive hail, nothing severe thunderstorm warning criteria, but still uh, impressive enough. Penny size, St. Francis, Jefferson and Albany, Glendale, Fort Atkinson, Pleasant Prairie and Whitewater all picking up pea size hail, so a quarter of an inch size. Again, most of most of the activity out over Lake Michigan now still looking at a little bit of activity off to the west and that's actually where the cold front itself is so a lot of these storms raced ahead of that cold front. Still some decent moderate rain from Sheboygan through Port Washington down to the Mequon area. But again, lone thunderstorm hanging out near Sugar Creek as well as in Palmyra. And that's just the backside as that cold front advances. It will continue to bring a chance for some stronger thunderstorms. National Weather Service has dropped a lot of counties from the severe thunderstorm watch. Now it's just Milwaukee, Waukesha, Walworth, Racine and Kenosha County until 10 PM. And I wouldn't be surprised if we we do see that drop earlier as well. Temperatures, they took a huge drop from earlier this morning at 1130. We were at 75 degrees. Then a pneumonia front came through and that dropped temperatures down into the 30s and 40s within an hour or so. And actually this stopped a lot of the storms from producing even stronger thunderstorms uh, because that cold air tends to dampen or kind of fizzle out some of those storms. So that's exactly what it did. Most of us have that northeasterly wind, except around the Janesville area. Still have that westerly wind. That's where the cold front is. That marches through. That's why we keep that chance of a thunderstorm in the forecast. So 40 right now with light rain in Milwaukee, and we do have that wind still very strong. So it will continue to be breezy with this front swinging through. But again, the worst of it, I think, has come and gone. Still a chance for some stronger thunderstorms from I-94 southward. You can see on the statewide forecast, there is still some activity off to the west, but most of us can be watching that diminish before midnight tonight. Then tomorrow on the back side of this system, colder, cloudy, may see a peak of sun by the end of the day, and I think on Wednesday we'll see a little bit of sunshine here and there, a mix of sun and clouds before another storm system moves on in for your Thursday. Not going to be as impressive as this one was, though. For tonight, 38 degrees, showers and thunderstorms exit, mostly cloudy skies overnight, and then tomorrow starting off with more clouds. See a little bit more sun by the end of the day, 48 degrees, so certainly much cooler for your Tuesday compared to the 76 degree high temp we had today, but that is unusual for April. 54 then on Wednesday, a little bit warmer away from Lake Michigan, and another chance for some showers and thunderstorms sprinkled on Thursday as well as into the weekend, but we do warm into the 60s. So very April like weather and certainly not a washout like March was. Oh, here's that picture again, man. Looks worse than it is okay. from Storm Chaser right We'll now. trust you. <laughs> We're also inside. <laughs> That's true. Most of this is out over the lake though. Okay. Thanks, Jesse.